So last week I end my stream. I end my stream. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna end my stream. I'm gonna upload these clips. You know, be be all done for the week. And then like 30 minutes later, Donald Trump is doing a campaign rally. You know, talking about like the Mexicans at the border or Joe Biden's son doing cocaine or some shit. You know, the sort of thing that Donald Trump talks talks about, or like how large his brain is, things like that. Hey, you ever thought about how Donald Trump talking about how his brain being big is suspiciously a cube like? Someone should look into that. But anyway, and then Donald Trump almost gets fucking assassinated. Like 30 minutes after my stream is like, like, did he have, does he have any consideration for me? Could he have thought about me before he let that happen to him? Could he have brought it forward 30 minutes or informed me beforehand so that I could be live when it happens? Apparently he got shot in the ear. I guess it could be a, a benefit that um, I wasn't allowed to talk about it immediately. Because God, the things that I would have said would not have gone over well with the moderators of YouTube. But... Now that we've had time to reflect and look back on what's happened and look at the, the evidence for what has happened, the things that we know about the Donald Trump assassination attempt, which I should probably play a video of because technically, even though Donald Trump was literally shot during it, it's, it's still PG enough to show on YouTube, which is, I think, how you know you fucked up your assassination attempt pretty fucking badly. Donald Trump assassin... Ass all footage in one place. Thanks, Daily Mail. If you, you uh, want to really, really see something, something that's said, said, take, take a, a look at what happened. happened. Oh, that was a perfect line, actually. If you really want to see something, if you really want to see something, take a look at this. If you, you uh, want to really, really see something, something that's said, said, take a look at what happened. happened. Can someone explain something to me here? What is this with this fucking kid in a suit with a MAGA hat behind him? What is going on there exactly? Didn't see that until now. That's fucking weird. If you, if you uh, want to really, really see something, something that's said, said, take, take a, a look at what happened. happened. That's so bizarre. Now, there's been a lot talked about since this happened. Like, who the fuck was this kid? And it turns out that the kid was a registered Republican. I don't, know, I don't actually know what it means to be a registered Republican. Like, you have to register to vote for a specific party in the US. You don't just go and vote on the day. That's fucking weird. But apparently he was a registered Republican. And, you know, he had, like, been a Donald Trump guy. He wore MAGA hats and shit to school. And then he also donated $15 to Joe Biden once. So I don't know what's going on there. So I would assume that this kid might just be a fu either some sort of fucking idiot because he forgot to leave a manifesto. Look, you're a white kid, you're going to go and do a shooting in the USA. It's absolute tantamount that you upload your manifesto to 4chan or some, some place like that where a bunch of mentally ill shut-in neats will save it. Huge fucking mistake. We need, we need to know why you killed all those people or, or like why you almost assassinated Donald Trump. We need to know. Fucking rookie mistake. If you're a, you know, a white incel shooter... Make a manifesto. We need to know. It's that simple. So it's not exactly clear why he did it, but it's very weird that he's a registered Republican. If I was to guess, based on that fact and the fact that um, Trump has been really weirdly not talking about it very much, he's, you would think he'd be like, Joe Biden and the left and the immigrants and the communists tried to take me out, but they couldn't vote for me now. But he's not doing that. It's fucking bizarre. So I would assume... That part of the motivation had something to do with like something that Trump doesn't want people talking about. Like Epstein. Maybe this kid finally figured out that Donald Trump was an Epstein guy and was like, I've been deceived. It's time to go to go um full white incel. But the fact that Donald Trump isn't talking about it is very suspicious. I would say that I it's either something to do with Epstein or Trump's heart just isn't in it anymore. Like, I feel like Trump doesn't really even want to be the president. The energy's just gone. He doesn't really seem to want to the want to do it anymore trump eight years ago would have jumped all over this trump now is just like going on going through the motions you know or maybe he's just older and, and he's too you know he doesn't have the energy for it anymore he doesn't have the energy to exploit his attempted assassination it is very very fucking weird though because um the kid managed to get onto like a roof like he was on a roof with very very clearly visible from where trump was like there's no tall buildings around here really it's just it was just like a fucking random field and he's on, like, a, the roof of a one-story building over here. Clearly in the view of, you know, snipers on the roof, or anyone could fucking see a, ra a guy on a roof over there. That's f so obvious. And it took them, like, 30, 20, 20 foot to 30 seconds to, after he started shooting to even start shooting him. And I also read 
that spectators saw the guy up there, told the cops about him, and the cops, like, there were two cops who looked into it, and one of the cops, like, boosted, um, like, boosted another cop up to the roof, and he came face, to, literally face to face with the shooter and his gun, and immediately just jumped down, and then the shooter started shooting, I think he wasn't ready, honestly, I think, like, because he got found by those cops, he started shooting before he was ready, it's also, like, using an AR-15 from that sort of range, I don't know, it's, it's doable, but not for, like, a 20-year-old incel. Like, I Insights AR-15. I also heard that he was walking around, like, the parking lot with a fucking rangefinder. Why would someone be there with a rangefinder? And Secret Service marked him as suspicious because he was carrying a rangefinder. Yeah, I would fucking say so. Why would you bring a rangefinder to a politician's speech unless you were planning to assassinate them? What, what were you guys thinking? They just let, they, they see the guy with a rangefinder and they're just like, okay, we'll, just, we'll look into it later. Just let him walk around for now. It's fucking weird. Everything about it is weird. Everything about it is suspicious, but it's also easier to explain his incompetence. I mean, he just wanted to go into the news. Well, he's fucking dead. What exactly did he think would happen? I also read like the snipers who were on site, they were not even Secret Service snipers. They were local police snipers. Honestly, the budget is, it must be low or something. The US is, has all this budget for war, but they can't even like get their own fucking snipers to protect like um, an ex-president who is a current presidential candidate they had to get like the local random like um c team snipers it's so weird honestly everything about it just like screams incompetence and the whole story with the kid it's it's just weird um and trump trump not exploiting it is weird everything about it is weird as fuck i don't even know what to say incompetence undecipherable ideology of this dumb little kid i gotta say he has a trump supporter phenotype like this is trump supporter phrenology this is absolutely a fucking Trump supporter, man. Give me a break. I've never seen, I've never seen anyone who was born a Trump supporter more than this. Give me a fucking break. This guy was not a Biden supporter. This guy was a Trump supporter. There's no way, there's no fucking way. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what there is to say about it. It's just weird. Everything about it makes no sense. Trump should be supporting conspiracy theories about this being like a Chinese agent or something. It makes no fucking sense that Donald Trump is not exploiting this. What is he doing? He's probably just old and, and doesn't have the energy that he did eight years ago. That really is just probably the, the real answer. Joe Biden's still not dropping out as well. Oh man, the election is going to be a fucking massacre. Oh, I, honestly, it's going to be a complete fucking massacre. But um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, Lee Harvey Oswald, still the best to ever do it.